Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to actually upgrade your teams, what you need, and where to go find these upgrades in the in-game menus. I know a lot of you have just started playing this game, which is awesome. If you're new around here, get subscribed. We do a lot of highlights, we do streams, we do educational videos teaching you how to get better, how to level up your team. So definitely wanna get subscribed and like this video if you find it useful. Join the Discord if you have any other questions, put them in the Discord, leave them down below in the comments. I'll try to answer them as many as I can. But the basic way to upgrade your players, there's two ways. One, through the tiers. We'll talk about this first. These are with badges. So this is what you see here. I have all like diamond tier players. There are a couple tiers. I call them recruits, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond being the final tier. The second way you can upgrade your players is with experience and EXP trees. We'll talk about that later. But first of all, to upgrade your players, the very first thing you have to do is to recruit a player. When you start out the game, fresh, brand new, you get these players that look like this. And very basic looking, they're blue. I call them recruit or default players. These players you cannot upgrade. So you can't use level ups or you can't um, upgrade the tiers on these players. They are what you get. But if you head over to the upgrade recruit tab, you recruit players with recruit tickets, you will get a bronze player. It costs five recruit tickets for pitchers seven recruit tickets for everyone else you recruit the different positions you get these players they will come in as a bronze and these is where you can start upgrading your team you start out at bronze you go to gold silver platinum silver platinum diamond etc and how do you do this so for each upgrade we're starting at bronze you need five badges of the appropriate tier and some coins. So here you see I need five silver badges plus 30,000 coins to upgrade, first upgrade from bronze to silver. And you have to go in order. You cannot jump straight from a bronze player to a gold player, even if you have enough gold badges and coins. They have to be a silver player first. So the bronze to silver, I need five silver badges, 30,000 coins. Silver to gold, I need five gold badges and some amount of coins, it's more than 30,000. It goes up the higher you go. To upgrade from gold to platinum, you need five platinum badges, a gold player and coins, etc, etc. We see here it does get expensive. If I want to upgrade a platinum to diamond, I need five diamond badges and 300,000 coins. And these badges do get a little bit harder to get the higher you go. So it's relatively easier to get a silver badge than it is to get a diamond badge. But I will do a separate dedicated video on how to get rewards, but rewards are mostly random when you play the game. The best way is to just play through the seasons to help you get these rewards. So every time you upgrade their tier, their overall goes up by five. You can see here, Soto, 69 gold goes to 74 platinum. And for pitchers, you also get an extra pitch type. You'll notice my bronze pitchers only have, you start out with four pitch types. You go to silver, you get five. You get to gold, you get six. You go to diamond, you get seven, which is the max. But you see here, it is expensive. And it is hard getting these badges, so you do have to play the game to advance or you can buy gems and just use real money that way I wouldn't recommend it you get five overall which means you get plus five to all your stats so here if I were to upgrade him from platinum to gold everything he would get an extra plus five and raises his overall so that's the first way that you can upgrade your players remember the important thing is you cannot skip so it's a progression you have to go from bronze to silver silver to gold gold to diamond diamond to platinum excuse me platinum to diamond the second way to upgrade your players now the first way it has nothing to do with your experience it has nothing to do with attribute points you could have a diamond player that's like 60 overall if you haven't really played a lot and you just buy the coins, buy the badges, immediately get them up to diamond. But the levels, what you see here, is going to be how you get most of your stuff. So the important thing here to note is the max level. 
We can see here also these guides, these menus in the game are very useful. If you have time, go over and read through the stuff. People ask me, what does power do? What does agility do? The game tells you exactly what this stuff does. So give it a quick read. It'll tell you max level is 130. It's best to raise the max level in advance. What that means is if we take a look here, right now I'm level 47. My max level is 50. So after each game, I gain experience. As a pitcher, you gain experience from striking people out, things like that. As a batter, you gain experience from getting hits, scoring, RBIs, home runs, all that good stuff. But if your level is at the max level, you don't earn any experience because you're already at the max level. What that means is if I were level 50, I wouldn't get any experience for playing unless I raise the max level. And once again, it does cost gold. That's one of the things, things start off very, very cheap. But as you go on, you see here, 55,000 gold to upgrade. You see here, if I wanted to upgrade, this guy cost me 89,000 gold. And the upgrade from platinum to diamond is 300,000 gold, in addition to the five platinum badges. So, as you get higher in level, the limiting factor actually becomes gold. You actually run out of gold and you need gold more than anything else. You might be ready to upgrade, but you don't have enough gold. So max level experience, and that's how you do it. Every time you level up, you earn what's called an attribute points. And the attribute points you can use to increase the attributes. So these are things such as your control, your pitch types. But for batters, these are fun things such as speed, power, contact. Batter's eye, that cool stuff. This you can customize. You see right here, this guy, I just went all in. I went all in on power. But you can do whatever you want when you upgrade. And this is where the experience drinks comes in. You can use experience drinks to level up your players. You have the normal ones, which gives a little bit amount. Medium ones, it gives slightly more. Large ones, gives slightly more. And Mega gives the most. You see here, I level them up, boom. Level 63, got some more attribute points to use. Boom, boom, boom. I can upgrade him as much as I want. I can spread it around if I wanted to. All that cool stuff. So those are the two quick ways to upgrade your players. The first one, they're tier. So this is bronze all the way up to diamond. You need badges plus coins. You cannot skip tiers. The second way is with experience drinks and levels. Make sure your max level is always higher than your current level. This requires gold. You can upgrade their level at any time using these experience drinks that you gain from playing the game. After every time you play a game, you get something random. The most common reward is an experience drink or a stamina. And then you use attribute points to upgrade the specific attributes. If you have any questions on anything, Check the in-game guide, it will tell you what everything is. Now, the last part of this I'll show you. You can buy these items in the shop. Diamond, platinum badges, very expensive. I wouldn't recommend you use your money on that, but recruit ticket set, pretty cheap. 1,200 gems gets you 10 recruit tickets to get you started. That's like two pitchers, pretty good deal. Um, you can get gems by playing the game, getting the daily missions, and then silver and gold badges aren't too bad. If you really need coins, wait until they have a sale. About once a week, they have a sale where you get double the coins for the same price. So if you wanted to use 300 gems to buy coins, you'll get some bonus ones. So wait for that deal. Another thing, if you really do want to spend money in this game, these packs aren't a bad deal if you do have an extra $30 lying around. Once again, wait for the deal, the specific deal of the day. We see here, the deal today is actually pretty good. If you buy this pack, you get, like let's say this uh, outfielder pack, you get a left fielder, center fielder, and reliever. Right, you don't have to get the recruit tickets, you don't need the badges, and here they're automatically upgraded to gold tier. That means you don't have to buy the recruit tickets to recruit them. You don't have to get the badges to upgrade them. You don't need silver or gold badges or the coins. It's actually a pretty good deal, a little bit expensive, but if you have the money, I don't recommend this, all right? Don't go out there using your parents' credit card. This is like, if you actually make enough money to just spend some on this game in your free time, go ahead and do that. But if you're spending your parents' money, hey, don't, don't go out there and buy things, all right? Don't do it, do not do it unless they give you money but be sure to ask them ask them before you buy anything
those are the ways that you can upgrade your players. Uh, pretty in-depth video, but a lot of people ask me, so this is exactly how you do it. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments below or in the Discord. I'll do another series on how to customize your players and also on how to get rewards. And those are probably the most commonly asked questions, so I thought I would take some time, do a dedicated video to it. That's all I had today. Hopefully this video was useful. If you're watching all the way till the end, hit that like button, get subscribed. Thanks for watching. Peace.